Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your weekly general reading for the 13th through the 19th of April 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Cancer, please keep in mind that I have six grandchildren, and they're all downstairs playing, having fun, two are toddlers, so... They get a little loud sometimes. Just know that they are perfectly fine and they're all right. All right, Cancer. And Gizzy's right there taking a nap. <laughs> all right, Spirit. What messages do you have for Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. All right, Cancer. Nice. We have Vision Board coming up here. Love it. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Cancer need to know? Thank you, Spirit. We are ready. Miracles. All right. Breakthrough. Nice. All right, Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to know this week? 13th through the 19th. Thank you, Spirit. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Current situation, we've got the Hierophant. In your foundation, there you are, Cancer, King of Cups. Recent past energy, we have the Three of Swords. Crowning you is the Four of Pentacles. Your new circumstance is Temperance. In the position of what you need to know, we have the Eight of Cups. Your outcome energy is the Page of Pentacles. All right, Cancer, give me just a moment. So we have the number sequence here, three, four, and five. This is amazing. You know, Cancer, you're doing a lot of spiritual alchemy here. I feel like you've been through something that was just heartbreaking, uh, disappointing, okay? But you are working through it. You're having a breakthrough, okay? And it's allowing for you to move forward. I also feel for many of you, you know, you're paying attention to your dreams, signs, symbolism, synchronicities as well. Having that communication with spirit, your guides, with vision, with vision board coming up here. Create a board with images and words that inspire you. Powerful message right here. I feel many of you are already doing this or have done this. I feel the messages that you have been receiving that has been coming through. You know, I, I'm getting that you have been through a difficult time it's it's this could have been a situation where there was there's there was hardships within your financial situation setbacks this could have been a loss of a job this could have been a divorce okay the loss of a relationship i feel like you've used this energies like this um I feel like there's been a spiritual breakthrough here, okay, uh, with this communication that you have with your guides and your angels. They've, they've helped you be able to move forward, to move past this energy. You haven't forgotten about it because it's still showing up in your reading cancer, okay? So, you're, you know, you still feel this, but you are moving forward, all right? And you're moving forward with the help 
of your angels and your guides and your ascended masters right here. You know, I, I feel like not only have you made a vision board, okay, or maybe you have been writing down positive affirmations or meditations. You've been putting them up everywhere. Maybe you've memorized them. And this is what has really has allowed for you to have a breakthrough here. And you know, you are moving forward confidently, powerfully right here. And most importantly, Cancer, you're in complete control over your emotions. All right? You have balance. That's coming up here several times. And you know, my guide is telling me, you haven't done it alone either here. Uh, I, I feel like you've went through something with family, a loved one, okay? And not only have you had a breakthrough, you've helped them with whatever has happened, what's going on, or what has gone on with this Three of Swords energy. <clears throat> You've been very generous. You've been very supportive. Now we have the energy of miracles coming up here. My life is a miracle. And I love it. Many of you are stepping into your power. You know your worth. Whatever this was, you're not allowing it to define who you are right now. What this has done has given you inner strength. The spirit of perseverance here. You're being very courageous. Breakthrough. I soar into limitless love, light, and joy. Claim it. You're understanding how powerful you are. You're understanding that you hold the keys to your success, Cancer, with the Hierophant, the energy of Taurus coming up here. You've tapped in, tuned in to your higher self, okay, you realized, all right, that you hold these keys within you to unlock those doors that were locked, to walk down that path that you felt were, was once blocked, definitely have stepped into your personal empowerment here with a sense of authority as well, you'll never forget what this was, okay, and for each of you, this is going to be something different. Okay? You're not going to forget it. But it has made you stronger, wiser. Okay? Powerful energy that I'm feeling right here. You know, I feel like for many of you, you've made a commitment to yourself. That whatever this was, you're not going to allow it to happen to you again. Okay. For some of you, this is you starting a new spiritual journey. Okay. Some of you have went through that dark night of the soul. And I tell you what, it was something else. All right. But you've made it to the finish line. Finish line. You've come out a stronger. stronger version of who you were before. I'm feeling an energy shift right here as well. Cancer, you went through something major. Definitely going to have to leave me a comment, you guys. I, I feel it. I feel the energy. Some of you are mentors. Some of you are spiritual leaders. Your teachers. People look up to you. They respect you. When someone has a problem, they're running to Cancer. That's what I'm getting right here. Some of you may be stepping up into some type of authority or leadership type role with a business or corporation that you are working at. You're moving up as well. King of Cups in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you, whether you're male or female. Like I said, this is you having balance and control over your emotions right here. All right. You got it together. 
You're very generous with your time. You're generous with others. You're supportive. I'm seeing people coming to you, Cancer. You know, they're picking up the phone. They're calling you. They're connecting with you. They need to hear Cancer's voice. I feel like you are helping people get through these hard times. Okay? You're shining a light in the darkness in other people's lives. You're shining that light into their lives. Powerful energy, light worker energy coming through here. Beautiful. I'm seeing a rainbow in my mind's eye. Wow, love it. Some of you work with crystals. You're, you're, uh, you do Reiki. You're very powerful. You're putting that light out into the world. Whew, nice, nice. I'm seeing blessings and opportunities as well. Doors are opening up. Okay, where some of you have been feeling stuck, you're already, you've already walked through that door, you've already become unstuck, I feel. Now, if you haven't yet, you're going to be very soon, okay? By the end of this week, you're going to move forward, you're going to change direction. All right? You're moving away from this energy. It doesn't mean you're forgetting it, but you're moving away from it, all right? This is in your recent past, but you know, you it's still fresh on your mind. You're still feeling it because it's showing up in your reading. Whatever this heartbreak, disappointment, loss was, okay? I feel many of you are healing. There's, there's a healing taking place within the heart chakra right now. I'm getting that, you, you know, picking up the pieces and moving forward. Four of Pentacles in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. You know, many of you have recently taken back power and authority over your financial situation. Okay? Or you're creating something that's going to last. Okay? Built to last. Laying a solid foundation here. Some of you could be starting a business, a home business, an online business. Some of you, you have, you know, a door has opened up for you and you have gotten that job that is going to allow for that stability and security in your life. I'm seeing a mortgage being paid off, a, a home being bought as well. Temperance, the energy of Sagittarius as your new circumstance. Again, we're talking about balance, spiritual alchemy right here, inner work right here. Some of you are working something, whether it's within you or outside of you. You're, you're making sure you're getting things just right. You're taking a step back. You're coming back and making adjustments here. This is very important to you, whatever this is that you're working on right here. And you are spiritually protected. You have clarity. Your crown chakra is open. You're believing in yourself. And for some of you, it's been a long time since you've had that self-confidence, that belief in yourself due to whatever this was. Eight of cups in the position of what you need to know, Cancer. This is you changing direction. Moving on, going after that ninth cup, going after what's going to bring you emotional satisfaction and fulfillment. You're taking care of you now. And you know what? You're not looking back. Whatever you're going after here, it's, it's the new beginning of prosperity, reward for effort. The Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This talks about how realistic and grounded you are. What you're going after, this dream or this wish fulfillment that you're going after, that, that ninth cup, it's within reach. 
not only is it within reach cancer, it's going to bring financial gain. Some of you, you're going to have something coming in here. You're going to be receiving a phone call about something that you've done in your past, seeds you've planted and nurtured. Uh, I see something coming to fruition here, a material harvest. It may not be huge, but it's something, if this message is for you, it's something that's going to allow for you to be able to move forward. Okay, it's that energy. It's going to keep you going until what it is that you're going after or creating starts to come to fruition here. Thank you, Spirit. Remember, you are a miracle, Cancer. Remember, you're a beacon for others. I feel a spiritual leader energy. Whether you realize it or not, Thank you, Spirit. All right, Cancer. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.